Python on hardware, yeah. Good stuff. Okay, Python on hardware this week. If you go to Adafruit Daily, you can check out our latest. This is the Circuit Python um, themed newsletter and Python on hardware themed newsletter. A um, little bit of uh, reminder. Do it today. This is the last day that you can get your requests in if you want to um, get things like, uh, I want this feature in Circuit Python. We'll probably do it. Um, you can go to adafruit.com slash circuitpython2024. You can email circuitpython2024 at adafruit.com. Um, there's lots of stuff you can do. Um, all the posts we collected here, um, you can see some of the things that you want to have included. Um, IP over USB support. There's a lot of different projects that people have, and you can see what's interesting to them. So take a look at them send it in and uh, we'll probably end up doing it um, for um, if you want to send to you eight of your daily but we are going to talk about something else this week later. yes okay yeah what did you want to talk about this week okay first off UBC video is super cool um, I think Jeffler is going um, on a small break but we'll be back um, but Scott is going to help try to get this merged in. So on the RP2040 right now, we're going to work on other boards, but the RP2040, you can now have your device look like a webcam and you can draw to it. Um, this is cool because now you can like capture images from um, uh, an RP2040 chip. Uh, so you could have like a you know little DI webcam, but also you could have sensor data that comes in as like a graphical display, and then you merge that in with something else, and you can pipe that video data or or grab it or reuse it or whatever. Um, I think it's just neat. You know, we can have with teeny USB, we've had you know mouse and keyboard, right? That's like the first thing, but then we added MIDI, and then we added like disk drive, and then we added like generic HID, um, and other things like can't remember off the top of my head, but other uh, USB devices you, uh, you could act like. But UVC is a standard. We were initially thought that you couldn't do this because you needed to have high-speed USB. Turns out you don't. Um, you can do it with full speed. It's just not as fast. But like CircuitPython doesn't have gigantic display context anyway. So it's like, you know, 240 by 320 and it sends it over and you can see at the bottom that image was drawn by CircuitPython and piped in. So. Um, do some cool stuff. It's also really good for documentation because now we can screen grab um, what uh, CircuitPython is drawing um, through the USB interface. Okay. Oh, neat. And you can check out all the stuff on the newsletter. Um, we had our floppy drive um, preview. Tom's hardware covered it. Yeah. You can take a look there. Um, making a drone using Raspberry Pi and Python. Ultimate list of Python YouTube channels. All the things that have something to do with Python and running on hardware. This I thought was cool. Um, so I am seeing more and more people use ChatGPT4 in particular to code in Python. I'll say I do it all the time. I'm just like, oh man, I just need, I'm trying to think like, what was I coding? Oh, like, I'll, you know, I'll have like some code from JavaScript. Like I, there was some internet connectivity code that I found that I had to adapt and it was in JavaScript. I'll be honest, I don't, I haven't written JavaScript in like 10 years. So I used ChatGPT4 and I said, hey, can you port this to Python 4 for me or to Python for me? And um, it actually did a really, really good job. And I just had to do a couple tweaks here and there. But, you know, I think people know that these LLMs hallucinate. They're not 100% trustworthy, but they can definitely shave a lot of time off of porting work or coding work if you want to, like, merge things together. Um, so, I, you know, I, I think it's cool to see people using it and then explain to others, like, hey, here's how to get good results out of these tools. So they're not your eternal savior for any coding issue and they're not the worst thing you've ever seen it's just another tool that you know how to, if you know how to use it uh can help you get your projects off the ground faster all right and that is python on hardware this week get it from me for daily sent to you spam free you don't even need to sign up you can read it on github you can read it on Adafruit daily itself all the different ways